Something tells me this isn't a tomb. Okay, so let's continue on. Uh, actually, should we? We didn't. Sh we didn't even check out the ladder. I mean, either we're coming back to that or something else. Because we didn't even need to use that ladder. Uh, it's not, not even available to, to check out. So, either I missed it or we're coming back to it from the other side or from the top. So where are we going? Oh, I love the lighting for that. Oh, it's another one of these. If the huge coiling wires hadn't made it clear, the hulking metallic shell certainly did. This isn't a tunnel. It's the entrance to another laboratory, just like the one in the forest. How many of these are there? The presence of such unusual and foreign objects in Arthurton begged even bigger questions. Who put them here? And for what purpose? It seemed to Jenny as if the graveyard itself had been built around the sphere. A perfect hiding place. If something this conspicuous could be so easily concealed... What else is Arthurton hiding? Let's check and see. Sounds like a heartbeat. Oh no. Now we're in complete darkness. We know it's working. As a dozen intricate machines word to life. Jenny noticed a remarkable resemblance she had overlooked before. Some of this equipment looks like the stuff in Susie's lab. Huh. Can't believe I missed it before. That girl owes me some answers. How about you talk to her now? You have the radio. Speaking of radio. Another radio. Maybe these are used to communicate between laboratories. It was a hunch, but if it were true... Whoever's transmitting the message could be in another sphere somewhere in town. Almost there. No. It's the same voice as before. This code was different from the last. Just as strange, though. Jenny carefully transcribed the words into her journal. Let's see what the hawk and the weasel have to say about this. Oh, we kept book? Okay. Okay, so bear, wolf, sheep. Okay, so bear. Bear 39. Okay. 
so the perch of uh, rabbit sixty. Rabbit seventeen. Uh, hot weasel. Uh, weasel fifty six. Should be silence. Hawk forty one. Wolf twenty four affected sheep forty wolf twenty six uh -huh. do, do, do. Sheep sixty six Bear Bear thirty four. I can't believe I missed this one. Goose twenty one. Purge infected, soon only death. Forever silenced, despair herself is near. This message, as sinister as the last, sent Jenny's analytical mind into overdrive. Is the man in black sending these messages? Purge infected, forever silenced. Could that have something to do with Dean Strausbury? It can't be a coincidence that I found a copy of the same book by the Dean's corpse. But how are they connected? Soon only death, despair herself is near. And now they're coming for my mom. What does she know that they're willing to kill her for? Hmm. I don't know, man. It just, it just seems kind of crazy. This contraption was new to Jenny, but something about it caught her eye. A large metallic slab with a distinctive indentation carved into its surface. That shape? Where have I seen it before? The Dean's Ring! Do you still have it? Oh yeah. Uh... Uh, oh, it's this. Place the ring in, then turn it <laughs> with the ring still on your finger. Fits. In fact, it fit perfectly into the slot, as though it were made for it. Hmm. Uh, so should we turn or, or, or flip the switch? We could do that. Doesn't seem to be working. Probably just to lose connection somewhere. One. Jenny okay. knew that the best way to fix anything electronic was to mess around with it until all the lights come on. Okay, well, let's start with this. There's that.
There we go. If being a great detective didn't work out, Jenny had a promising career in machine repair to fall back on. And it's on. Excuse me. Oh. I could have lost an eye. The machine's true application would remain a mystery for now. But whatever its purpose, the implications were overwhelming. Dean Strasbury is somehow connected to this place. Had the Dean been aware of the secret hiding within his ring? Whether he knew or not, it's likely he was killed because of it. Oof. See this? What is it? Hidden amongst a web of cables, the average eye would have missed it. But Jenny Leclou was a great detective. There's a book pinned beneath that cable. Confidential. The word was music to Jenny's ears. Okay, let's see. She, uh... Uh, S L E C D. Um, I don't know. Uh, at you one. At last, today we begin Project Excelsior. Thanks to our wonderful benefactors. Sitting inside my lab, it's exactly as I had hoped. Perfectly conce uh, concealed, it's a real thing of beauty. I call it the Zayer Sphere. And I don't think it's pretentious to name it after myself, but let's see him design a geo a geodiscit structure that can withstand that can. Uh, withstand such an incredible external forces. It looks like what withstand with and, and or with two separate words. Whatever we call it, we'll finally be able to study and harness the power of Arthur Arthurton's greatest resources. So I know Nigel keeps mispronouncing my name. I swear he, he he's doing it on purpose. It's Professor Zazer, like laser with a Z. How's that hard? Who are the Council of Three? Hope the money doesn't dry up. Alright, uh. B equals 27 that. Uh, reminder laundromat? Buy new laundry. New underwear. Zazer. Jenny recognized the name, but couldn't put her finger on where she'd heard it before. So this lab is his invention. He called it a Zazer Sphere. Well, at least I've got a name. Okay. Uh. uh just case you know, screenshot that. Hmm. Never know when those uh. It was B's and X will be a point. These machines were built to study and harness the power of Arthurton's greatest resource. They were experimenting on the town itself. The Council of Three. Never heard of them. Sounds like he didn't know who they were either. But they paid for all of this? I feel like there would be something around here. Maybe invisible ink. Torn pages. Hmm. 
Entry number 103. Another sphere fully operational. Uh, let's just zoom in. Uh, the project continues to grow. Every time we start an experiment, we discover a new property to examine. Each result further supporting my theories. This town is special. That said, I find my time lar largely spent moving between laboratories. I'm tired of managing. Uh, I want to get my hands dirty. Entry 104. New lab idea. Toying with the designs for a newer, much more ambitious, larger facility. My calculations are correct. It should be capable of up to 1200% output capacity. This could propel us to a whole new world of possibility. Reminder ask Mr. Gray again for face to face with management. Are they avoiding me? Starting to wonder if they even exist. Strange. Ask around. No one has met them. Who are they? Who are they? Okay, so let's start with here. So, we got a bunch of basically coordinates. Well, graphics is, is what I think best be said. He designed a bigger sphere. Bigger than this? Did he ever build it? And if he did, where? What if it's just underneath the entire town? That's that's a whole building. <laughs> Nothing else. Okay, entry number two eighty eight. Terrible setback. Spotted an anomaly in the Badger experiment too late. Of course, Mr. Gray and Mr. Blue showed up in just in time to witness the explosion. Plasma everywhere. All units lost. Mr. Blue nearly lost an eye. Now looking forward to debriefing on Friday. This is going to set us back days, no weeks. Entry number 289. Days are blurring together. Every experiment brings us close to unlocking the seemingly impossible but the number of strange incidents at the labs continues to grow. Who keeps stealing my pants? Entry number 297. More setbacks. More unwelcome interruptions. Exhaustions plus rush schedule equal dangerous conditions. What if they insist me we run the new test this weekend? It's just not ready. We need to enhance security protocols to be and be vigilant to avoid any more contaminations or accidents. It's the only thing that they aren't in this for the right reasons. Someone followed me home again last night. Who are they? Council 3. Knowledge, ignorance, order, control, or self destruction. Progress to corruption. Wow, just. Mm. There was a badger on the door to get into this lab. So this must be the experiment he was talking about. Maybe. Or it could be something else. Uh, I really want to know who so keeps stealing the pens. I want to know who keeps stealing the pens. Exhaustion. Rushed schedule. Dangerous conditions. The parallels with her father's own working conditions were distressingly clear. So what if this was made by Jenny's father? I mean, we don't know. Could be. Entry number 342. Been sleeping in the lab, nothing to come home to. What am I doing here? What are we really trying to accomplish? I must believe that our personal sacrifices are worthwhile. There is serve a greater purpose. Entry number 385. Too late. I was so naive. Can't get their faces out of my mind. The screams, the darkness, the hole will never be filled. All dead. All my fault. 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 Ooh. Yeah, 
that's more than 40 entries later. So probably more than 40 days. All dead. All my fault. The words echoed across the metal walls. Ghosts of a past tragedy. What did he do? It must have been terrible. Anything over here? Entry 621. What very sweet feeling. After seven years, we finally we're finally getting stable, repeatable results. But the co but the cost has been great. The output and ratio is incredible, but we've all but we're only just beginning to unlock the potential. With right hands, this could change the world. The new lab is nearly operational, but I'm not sure we are. As always, they'll push too far. But full output will take years. Perhaps there's still time to make amends for what happened. Safety is top priority. People is greater than progress. Okay, so each entry is not an individual day. So it's been seven years. Basically, since the beginning of the writing. This entry is from much later. There are lots of pages missing. It seems that whatever happened before, he carried on his work long after. As is the case in all tangled mysteries, every new piece of evidence raised more questions than it answered. But she now knew the purpose of this Caesar sphere and the name of the people who had built it. The Council of Three. It wasn't much to go on, but it was a start. What's this? Another hmm. blank scrap of paper. Let's do it. Nigel, 1028. Please stop writing the code down. Memorize it and destroy this immediately. Zazer. Guess he goes to this. Please enter authorization code to begin. One, zero, two, eight. Code accepted. System authorized and armed for activation. Pull the lever, Jenny. Here we go. Preparing to run experiment 12, cycle 78. Sphere hermetically sealed. Magnetic transducer coils charging. Accumulating voltaic cells. Commencing experiment 12 91. Okay, so that's down. Radioactive safety margins cleared. Procedure 12 completed successfully. Decompressing spherical chamber. Remember, a healthy employee is an effective employee. Please leave the station for your mandatory 15 minute smoking break. And we should get out. I wonder what it did. At least I wasn't covered in plasma. Alright, so let's quickly get out of here and head to that uh, ladder. The yeesh, working here for seven years and it finally paid off. Man, I hope it goes that well for me, but going on for nine years hasn't really paid off just yet. So.
actually. Something's pushing against the stone. It looks like it could collapse at any minute. Hmm. Okay, so now all the way over here. Nope. Jenny, did you find the entrance? Not yet. Jenny was hesitant to share her discovery, but Susie might have vital information. Lab equipment. Where did you really get the parts to build your machines? I told you, there's a warehouse full of them at my father's factory. And that's the only place you've seen equipment like that? Well, yeah. Where else would I have seen it? I'm not trusting her. Good question. I have to go. Keep out of sight and let me know if you see anyone. I will. Good luck, Jenny. But it could be that, you know, she might consider these locations as the factory. But let's see what's up here. Right here. Nice scrap. We can't go anywhere else to the left, so let's go on to the right. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Beyond the fallen angel. This is it. The entrance must be through here. <laughs> 